So this is the setup. It's a fairly simple loop. It's just a CPU loop with a radiator on the top. Quick release fittings. Uh, here's the pump. And currently I've just got the pump wired up to a bench power supply uh, just to eliminate the Molex connector and the PSU of the computer being the issue. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the camera, but if I hold it up to the pump, you can hear it sort of trying to power on and power off. And then you can see it drawing amps intermittently from the power supply. So I'll see if I can get a recording of the sound, one sec. And if I hold it all into view, the noise from the pump is, it coincides with the amps being drawn. So it's like it's trying to power up the pump but it can't because the impeller's jammed. And then there's a pause and it does it over and over again. Now I'm going to try and just nudge the impeller to see if uh, it'll like dislodge it and see if it'll get started again but this is exactly what my other pump did. Uh, so I have taken out the EK acrylic thing to get to the pump. I've got a bent knitting needle, don't tell the girlfriend. And I'm going to turn the power supply on and it still does its thing. Sort of draws amps and makes a ticking noise. So it's trying to run. And then because I've got the flash on, I can use the flash as like a bit of detritus in the water now. But you can use the camera a bit like a... an endoscope and I've just tried poking I don't read really... poking the impeller and it's not it's not I can I'm putting a fair bit of force on it and I can't really dislodge it and get it moving uh, so I don't really know like I'm gonna post this on a forum I'll have to replace my I've got an old um, Noctua air cooler so I'll get my computer up and running with that on it again and then uh, post this on a forum it's literally when I pressed stop record on the last video it it just randomly started going and so that's it that's it just running off the power supply um, sorry about the, the wall we're renovating the house um, and it's it's just going fine now. I didn't do anything, I didn't poke it or anything. I don't know if the, the poking with the needle sort of just helped it along. But uh, it just randomly just started spinning again. And you can see there's no there's no blockage or anything in the in the um in the tubes as far as I know. And the, the flow is sort of fine and it's obviously running full beans. I do usually run it a little bit slower. Um, because I, I can actually hear the sort of whine of the of the pump when it's going full bean so I never really have it running full unless it's actually drawing a lot of you know the computer's making a lot of heat um, but it's all like it's all fine but this is exactly what my other pump did and it would just start randomly working again and uh, I don't even think me poking it has made any difference to it but that's like running normally that's how many amps it's drawing that's it going full full beans, full PWM. Um, I guess I'll just seal it all back up, but I guarantee this will happen again because it's exactly what happened last time when I did an RMA. Uh, all right. Uh, never mind, it's doing the same thing again. I'll try once again to uh, dislodge it down there, but I uh, I don't think it's it's not the kind of reliability that I can trust for a you know this is a it's a workstation that I use for for work every day, so I just need it to to work at this point. So I'll uh, I'll swap this out for the air cooler and uh, RMA it, but try and get some advice and stuff. Uh, all right. <laughs> 